What was your reaction, I guess, when you, when you first heard the news? Well, I was taking my youngest son to work this morning, and I heard it on the radio, and I thought, wow. My first thought was, Brian would have been celebrating with his buddies right now. <laughs> and then I think, you know, um, Os Osama bin Laden is just one link in the chain, so I think we as Americans still have to be on alert because uh, I don't think that's going to stop Al-Qaeda. You know, we may have stopped him, but I can remember him saying that if we did get him, that 10 more would come up behind him just as bad as him, so, you know. And you were saying... Yeah. That's a yes. good one, buddy. You were saying that um, Bin Laden was kind of all they talked about. Yes. Um, the soldiers, if you talk to the soldiers, that's their goal is to get Bin Laden and um, they, they might tell you, you know, I want to be the one that gets him. So, you know, I have a nephew that um, is serving in, um, he's from Washington State, and he's in special forces in um, the Army. And, and I've heard him say before, I want to be the guy that gets Bin Laden. <laughs> he was gung-ho about that. So, you know, that's been their goal. But, you know, like I said, I don't think it's going to stop. Al Qaeda or terrorist attacks. Did you think this was sort of a a reason that your son didn't die in vain? Yeah, yeah, it does help a little to know that um, they did reach that goal. You know, because they were on a search mission in Iraq to to get Bin Laden. So, how long has it been since Brian passed away? Well, he was killed on December 1st, 2004, so it's been seven years. Um, doesn't seem that long, but it almost seems unfair, you know, that the time's gone by so fast. So. Did you feel like he was with you today? Yeah, definitely. He was the first thing that came to my mind this morning. I see you're wearing your pin with Brian's yes. picture. Yes, I thought I'd put it on in his honor this morning, so um, he can kind of be a part of, of what's happened, you know, the celebration. And your title with Gold Star Mothers, it, you're the chair? I'm the president, president of the Lafayette chapter of Gold Star Mothers. Now, um, three of us went to the yeah. state convention on Friday. And uh, Pam yeah. Mao got voted in as Pam Mao got voted in as the state president, and uh, Marilyn Franz got voted in as the state vice president, and I got voted in as secretary, and Dana Van got voted in as our chaplain. So um, we'll be bringing the convention to Lafayette next year. So we would like to get more public with uh, our organization. I think we're all ready to get down and and uh, get some things done. Um, how, have you heard anything from other mothers today? No, I haven't talked to anybody else today. Okay, Kat. Do you feel like it's kind of a, a victory for you guys in your organization? Yeah, I think it is kind of a victory. I, I think that we're all probably, um, I think we're all probably a little bit melancholy with our thoughts today, you know. It's kind of a bittersweet um, thing to happen. It's a bittersweet celebration because our sons are not here to see it, you know. So that might be one reason why we don't just get on the phone and call each other and say, hey, did you hear the news? You know, because we're all a little bit staying with our thoughts today with our sons also. It's kind of a hard question to ask, but you know, there's I think there's been some buzz and probably will be some buzz saying, you know, people like Brian have died for this and was it worth it? Yeah. There's times I ask myself, is it worth it? But then there's other times I know that my son enjoyed what he was doing. He believed in what he was doing. And I think that given the choice He'd do it again. If he were if he were alive today, he'd go right back out there, knowing what's going to happen. He'd do it again. Whoa, great! Yeah. 
he just believed that strongly in it. Are you proud so, of him? I'm very proud of him. Very proud of him. And one of the last times I talked to him, he said, Mom, they, they can't pull us out of here because the whole world would be in trouble if they did. You know, they, he knew he had a job to do, and that was his focus. So, and I, I think that if you talk to any military person, they're focused on the job that they have to do, and they're protecting our country. You know, they're ready to die for our country. They know when they go in that uh, that's a possibility. So, and catching Bin Laden means a lot more than just my son dying. You know, I have a son that's a police officer also. And um, part of his job is to fight terrorism, you know. So it, it affects me at more than just one front. Yeah, God forbid the terrorists were to strike here again. Right. So. Is there anything else that you want people to know? No. Um, just that there is a Gold Star group out there now. You know, uh, there's a group of Gold Star mothers and it seems to grow every day. I think we've got about 10 members um, from the Lafayette. Uh, they're not all in Lafayette area. They're Logansport, um, Lebanon, toward Indianapolis, you know, um, Brookston area. There's, they're not all in the Lafayette, but but they put us. They're, we're put in the same chapter, and so um, we're out there trying to help other veterans in the memory of our sons.